Well, good evening. Um, first and foremost, I'm sorry I didn't make a video last week. Um, I woke up on Tuesday and I had worked a little too hard on Monday and I basically spent the day in bed. So, um, needless to say, I didn't feel like making a video and then the week just got away from me. I went away for the weekend and uh, more about that in a few minutes but here I am and this is week five and six post-op update. I had VSG surgery in Mexico, Tijuana with Dr. Garcia through um, Tijuana Bariatrics and on April the 12th and my stats are uh, my highest weight was 305 pounds. My start of my pre-op diet I was 292.2 my start of my surgery date was 273.2 I lost 90 pounds on my pre-op diet my last week's weigh-in was 255.8 I had lost 1.2 pounds that week and this week I am 253.8 I lost two pounds this week um, uh, that brings me to 19.4 that I've lost since surgery plus the 19 I lost pre-surgery is 38.4 and in six weeks and 51.2 since my highest um, it's on the lower end of uh, the losses uh, that I've seen anyways but um, last week and maybe the week before I was a little um, disappointed but you know um, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to I am still losing weight every week and I can't complain so I'm doing good um, I am having some moments of course where you miss being able to eat um, I'm I, it's funny because I will cook something and it's like so exciting you're thinking oh yeah this is gonna be so good and then you have some and it's like eh, not so great or just uh, doesn't do it anymore and I think that's it's it's the good and the bad of it really isn't it it's it's what you need to have happen but it's also such a drag sometimes um, so I went away this weekend and um, I had one really bad day I've never uh, since surgery I hadn't gone like uh, away for any length of time um, and um, Every single meal was out this trip, and I think that just did me, and I just was not prepared. I didn't take any shakes, but that was intentional, um, and that's because I'm still struggling with the premier protein, so I'm really trying to get my protein in uh, through regular food, um, but I will supplement here and there with a shake. Um, I had one last night, and it went down okay, but it's like 15 minutes later, I'm like, oh, what did I do? Um, I'm mixing it with PB2 and so it's 35 grams of protein but I read that we can only absorb about 30 grams at a time so um, there's always that but it does make it taste a little bit more palatable more like a everybody says Reese peanut butter cups so I just finished work so I am a hot mess and uh, ready to go up to my bed and um, snuggle in, turn my heated mattress cover on and watch a little TV and then hit the hay. Um, I'm really happy that I'm nearly under 250. Um, I was thinking about that today actually and, and when I got back from my trip I went with my mom and my sister to Palm Springs the week before I did the um, pre-op and I came home and was 292.2 and you know so close to 300 and then so close to my high weight and 
I know that if I hadn't had surgery uh, when I did, I would be at that weight and I would be miserable and I would be aching and just not a happy camper. And here I am, uh, 40 pounds almost away from that uh, high number of oh, 50. 51.2 from my highest, but like almost 40 pounds from when I started my pre-op diet. And, you know, I'm just glad that I'm on my way. And um, I've been trying on some clothes. I'm definitely out of uh, one size of pants and my bigger shirts. I'm wearing one tonight and hopefully I'm not exposing too much here for you guys to see. Um, yeah, my clothes are getting bigger and that's great. Um, tomorrow, um, so I was six weeks yesterday and tomorrow I am back at the gym with my trainer and I am freaking out because she is hardcore. Um, so I'm curious to know what I do um, so like I'm eating between six and 800 calories a day and a workout with her, I'm burning like 1100 calories. So, um, I'm hoping that I'm not like wanting to go to bed at two o'clock when I'm finished my workout because I do have a client tomorrow night. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, on one hand I'm excited and on the other hand I'm, yeah, freaking out, but, uh, I'm sure it'll be okay. So, um, food wise, things are, are going down. Okay. Some things like on the weekend, like I said, I did have one bad day and I have no idea. I think it was just the fact that, you know, I'm eating out all the time, but I mean, I ate stuff like poached eggs and uh, like one poached egg and two sausage links. Um, that would be breakfast. Um, I did have a um, half of a two egg omelet with ham and cheese for one breakfast. Um, nothing else besides that. Um, lunches, uh, one time I had a chicken breast with just uh, veg, um, steamed veg. At supper time, I had twice I had, um, we went to Moxie's and I ordered just a skewer of prawns. You get four good size ones. And one time I ordered it with just uh, green beans and the other time with um, some soup and got through, you know, maybe half, maybe not even half, a third of the soup. Uh, but the shrimp sure go down nice, I find. Um, but I'm wondering if the first, when I got sick, it was maybe the green beans because they were um, a little el dante and that would be the first time my... Uh, introduced more uh, on the raw side of thing for veg. So that might've been it, but that next morning, I'm not even gonna tell you, those of you who are sleeved know what happened. It was 30 minutes. Um, and then that evening of the same day that I had problems in the morning, um, I was late getting dinner. And so um, I went to Subway in the complex, in the sports complex I was in and ordered an egg salad on whatever bread, I uh, didn't eat the bread, with cheese. And then I ordered a side of uh, meatballs and I ate the cheese first and I just got white cheddar. And so there was three triangles, like the the thin ones and then I had maybe four bites of the egg salad and did not enjoy it so put that away and then I had one meatball and oh my sleeve just was like I reject you and um, not a good evening so I got I was watching volleyball and I got all sweaty and nauseous and I actually had to run to the loo and um, I lost part of my dinner. That was not a good day. However, that's that's about it. That The next day was okay. I was very careful um, and I probably was under my calories that day. Um, 
and uh, the rest of the time then I got home and yeah so it's been okay since then and um, yeah so that's the update for today I'm at 10 minutes already so I'm gonna hit the road and try and get this uploaded thanks for watching sorry it wasn't an exciting update but it's my update nonetheless and uh, hopefully this will be a really great week and with the addition of my workouts back again I'm hoping that um, yeah the scale will just keep going I'm really like as much as I'd love to get under 250 but I'm 253.8, so I have to lose 3.9 pounds. I don't want to set myself up for disappointment, but boy, oh boy, would I love to see that this week. I'm going to Phoenix on the 4th of June for a week, and I would just love to be under that for that trip. It would be fantastic. Oh, and by the way, when I went on this trip on the airplane, I took my seatbelt extender, which really... I can I could have squished into it like without using one um, before now like at my heavier weights but I always used it and it would I used it for about that much space and this time I took it along and I didn't need it and I wasn't uncomfortable I wasn't like you know schlocking myself into the seatbelt and like sucking every bit of me in that I could it just did up and no room like I didn't have any leftovers on the belt but I didn't need my seatbelt extender and so now I can say goodbye to that forever so there's an NSF for you and a very exciting one so anyway thanks for watching um, if you are a new subscriber I appreciate you and I wish you well on your journey and if you haven't had surgery yet you know good luck and if you have just had surgery it gets better each week and if you're a veteran well thanks for watching and I appreciate you too and all the advice and and uh, goodness you bring to my life each each time I get online and watch videos so thanks see you next week bye